If you're looking to get the best value for your cash, this video is going to show you why specs don't matter in the real world and why you might be better off not buying a new maxed out Apple device. This 2015 MacBook Pro is maxed out and it's slower than a basic 2017 which is slightly faster in interaction but Final Cut export was much faster. The M1 Pro is slightly faster than the 2017 iMac all around but if you upgrade the outdated Fusion Drive with an SSD and upgrade the RAM on the iMac all together for 400 bucks, the iMac will be about the same speed as the latest M1 Pro. If we run the hard drive and the raw disk Blackmagic test, which are both apps made for Apple devices, how convenient, we'll see that the M1 easily blows both of the 2015 and 2017 iMacs out the water. On paper, the iMac doesn't look like it can stand to compete with the much much faster M1 Pro, but you'll see that's not the case. Let's start off with the most important example which is exporting with Final Cut. Launching the app is faster on the M1 Pro, but nothing major even for the 2015 Pro, who cares. I'll be using 3 4K videos shot with a Sony a7 III in MP4 format to export in 4K an hour and 6 minute long video with zero edits. I got the M1 Pro hoping that I would shorten my exporting time but as you can see I still have to wait the exact same time. The 2015 still gets the job done, it has no lag or anything, it's just the wait time for the export is what kills it. Upgrading from this to the iMac made sense but the M1 Pro did nothing for me. All three Macs have the exact same speed copying the same 28GB videos from the SD slot. As you can see from 2015, I still have to wait the exact same time, no speed have been improved in regards of the SD slot. Okay, we can blame it on the SD card itself. Here's the same result for the same 3 4K videos transferred from a SanDisk SSD. Surprisingly, the iMac was only 11 seconds slower than the much much faster M1 Pro. Since the 2015 uses 2.0 USB versus the much faster USB-C, the transfer times is much longer as you can see. Now here's the results for copying the same 4K files back to the same SSD. Nothing surprising but the 2017 iMac finished 2 seconds faster than the much much faster M1 Pro. Rebooting all 3 Macs and the M1 Pro it definitely boots much faster compared to the 2015 but not much of a difference to this 2017 iMac. However when entering the password to log in the iMac is slightly faster than the M1 Pro. A couple of issues I had with the M1 Pro, if I press the escape key before logging in the screen flickers, also one time my funnel cut crashed and this happened before with my other Macs but with the M1 the project was corrupted and I had to start all over again losing hours of work. Also if I connect my portable monitor to the M1 Pro it crashes. The monitor works with every single device that takes USB-C except the M1 Pro. Another major problem I have is the airdrop. The 2017 iMac is slightly faster than the 2015 but the 2017 and the M1 exact same speed. It still takes 2 minutes to send an 8 gig file across all my devices. Nothing has been updated, I'm still using the same speed I've been used to for years now. 